tonight. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. City Chiefs taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Cleveland Browns. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And while I don't equate starting record as a quarterback to pitchers in baseball, it still gives us a great baseline. And Patrick Mahomes, 38-8 as a starting quarterback for Kansas City in the regular season. Throw in 6-2 in the playoffs, including a Super Bowl 54 victory. You've got one of the best ones in the game. And if you're a Kansas City fan, how excited are you? He signed through 2031. He will be your quarterback for a long time. Mahomes now on first down. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Another huge season last year for Tyree Kill teaming up with Patrick Mahomes. Close to 1,300 yards receiving. 15 touchdowns as well. And that was second only to Devontae Adams. We know about the big plays. Also makes the dependable chain moving catches as well. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. You know, Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what, it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets into rhythm, trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming.
to throw. It's Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. down is Mahomes that's caught left side by Hardman five yards on the catch there brings up second down we're scoreless after one Second quarter for Marrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. They go back to the ground with Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. JoJo Nansen now on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Browns set to go on offense for the first time, led by Baker Mayfield in his fourth season now from Oklahoma. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you gotta attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you gotta move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Hey. 
Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now. First and 10, just shy of the 30. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And in his second year in Cleveland after four in Atlanta, Austin Hooper always does all he can to build some rapport with his quarterback. He did it with Baker Mayfield last year. Expects it to continue to rise here in 2021. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A give running right is Chubb. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. two minutes time we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action he'll get this one underneath to Hunt and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39 yard line it goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains plenty of things to talk about here partner but to me their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive how about how they're responding coming back that's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive and that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Now Mayfield. Got a man. That's Rashard Higgins. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Three yards remain for second down. And again, it's Mayfield. Now he's got it. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And this is caught for a Browns touchdown by Landry. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Browns are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. 
So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that obviously changes the dynamic of this game. Yeah, in a couple of ways, partner, because they've been shut out up into this point. So now at least they go into the locker room, and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to him a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game, an extra point away from tying things up. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes, a quick slant to Hill. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the 35 on second down, Mahomes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. down Mahomes and he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete now a timeout signaled for and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime kick here is good and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7 so no problems at all on that one and, and you know there's virtually no win this is a kicker's dream here tonight it absolutely is isn't it so to me with no win it should be a passer's dream as well yeah. right but in this case the defense held out they had to force the field goal So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. This is JoJo Natson. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds will tick by in this first half. 
So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. And the Browns' offense getting set to go to work here to start the third. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. And what's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Mayfield off the play fake, and he's got the hook up to Landry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. play got just a yard here second and nine from the 26 Mayfield looks to throw it's caught over the middle Hooper and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled Mayfield finding Hooper there for a Cleveland first and that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage so timing is everything this time he waits for his man to come open puts it right on him and they pick up a first down on first down they'll run with Chubb and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. A run for Nick Chubb. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. 
Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Five on second down. Mayfield over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Mayfield able to find Hunt out of the backfield. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you touchdown. Rashard Higgins from 10 yards out. And once again, the Browns are back in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's 
Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 14-10. A little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And just a yard to go here on second down. Mahomes finding Kelsey. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Mahomes will throw. Flushed out right. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Mahomes used to moving quickly in college, trying to get his guys to the line. Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. Great call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And remember, field goal does him no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And this is caught inside the five. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Mahomes to throw it. This is caught. That catch good for only a couple. electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10 yard line that final shot though they couldn't get it in the end zone and that's all she wrote and they had the final shot the last snap taken that close to the end zone they don't get it in so they'll regret that but flip it over making a stand in that portion of the field congratulations to them
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.